after going through this module you shall be able to know about cement sugar and distillery learn about the processes involved in their production identify the problems and environmental impact in the production of cement sugar and alcohol evaluate the solutions to reduce the destruction and protect the environment analyze the future plans to enhance the production of these materials while keeping in mind their impact on the environment let us begin with the cement industry cement industry plays a crucial role in the infrastructural development of any country as the population of a country grows their construction activities increased in both public and private sectors this generates a huge demand of cement which is the raw material for any construction these activities are undertaken by both the central government and the state government for developing housing projects office spaces roads and other infrastructure cement is basically a binder it binds a substance that sets and hardens as the cement dries cement also reacts with carbon dioxide present in the air and can bind other materials together cement used in construction can be characterized as either hydraulic or non hydraulic depending upon the ability of cement to be used in the presence or absence of water non hydraulic cement gets attacked by chemicals after setting therefore it cannot be set in presence of water or in wet conditions hydraulic cement on the other hand is made by adding aluminum silicate and pozzolanas in order to activate the setting of cement in wet conditions pozzolanas is basically pollution free ash or waste from power station the silicates are responsible for the mechanical properties of the cement the figure shows the manufacturing of cement in a cement mill the process of manufacturing of cement in a cement mill is shown the raw material is introduced into the mill from where it passes to electrostatic precipitator then it passes on from the raw mill silo it is passed on to suspension preheater and then mixed in a rotary kiln from here it passed on to the clinker silo mixed with gypsum and in further moves on to cement silo from the cement silo the ready cement is packed into packing houses or loaded into cement tankers let us now have a closer look at the sugar industry sugar industry is divided into two sectors the organized and the unorganized the organized sector covers the sugar mills which are producing sugar from sugarcane whereas the unorganized sector takes into account the small farmers or small scale industries which are producing the traditional sweeteners such as gur there are several steps involved in the manufacturing of sugar as shown in the figure extracting the juice by pressing sugar cane boiling the juice to obtain sugar crystals creating raw sugar by spinning the crystals in extractors uh, refining the raw sugar by the processes of filtering and washing to discard the remaining non sugar elements crystallizing and dyeing the sugar and finally packaging the ready sugar distillery a distillery is basically the industrial manufacture of alcohol by the process of distillation distillation is a physical process which involves the separation of components of a liquid by vaporization and condensation it is a non chemical process with universal industrial application distillation permits separation of air into its components mainly oxygen nitrogen and argon for industrial use in the field of industrial chemistry 
large ranges of crude oil products of chemical synthesis are distilled to separate them either from other products or from impurities or from unreacted starting materials. Distillation of fermented products produces beverages of high alcohol content. Applications of cement, sugar and distillery. All these industries that is the cement industry, the sugar industry and the distillery have applications not only in the industrial sector but in households as well. Cement is used for construction activities in both public and private sector. Sugar is used as a food additive in teas, coffees, juices etc. for sweetness and the, in distillery the production of alcohol takes place. The alcohol produced is utilized in the ratio of approximately 52% for portable and 48% for industrial use. Cement is basically used for construction but its application depends the use of various types of cements in construction depends on the type and composition the rapid hardening or quick setting cement as the name suggests it hardens quickly and is used in concrete where work is to be completed in a short span of time the rapid hardening of cement is due to its large lime content and small percentage of aluminum sulfate. Low heat cement is used for construction of gravity dams by reducing the concentration of tricalcium aluminate. High alumina cements are used for construction in high temperature regions. It is obtained by melting and grinding the mixture of bauxite and lime. White cement is used for architectural purposes like to pre-cast certain walls and facing panels. It is more costly than ordinary cement and is prepared from raw materials which do not contain iron oxide. Colored cements are made up by mixing several mineral pigments with ordinary cement. It is used for decorative works in floors. Applications of sugar industry Sugar plays an important role in the manufacturing of food products. Nutritionally, sugar produces energy and economically, it is the most efficient foodstuff. It is obtained from sugar cane and has a very high calorie content. Industrial applications of distillery Industrial distillation has many applications. It is performed in large vertical cylindrical columns known as distillation towers. Let us have a look at this schematic diagram of the distillation process. Alcohol has industrial use in medicinal, pharmaceutical and flavoring purposes. Despite the many environmental issues, utilization of alcohol can't be reduced. In industry and for several exercises in the laboratory, there is requirement of alcohol. Spirit is also manufactured in distilleries and is used in polishing and removal of paints. Environmental issues Manufacturing of cement and sugar causes environmental impacts as the processes include emission of dust and gases causing air pollution. Also, noise and vibrations produced while operating the machinery affect the environment. Problems associated with the cement industry. 1. Emission of harmful gases in the air. Concentration of carbon in cement is somewhere between 5% to 8%. The manufacturing of cement releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere directly or indirectly. Direct emission of CO2 takes place through heating calcium carbonate. Indirect emission of CO2 takes place when fuel is burned to generate energy to drive the plant. 
The cement industry produces 5% of global CO2 emissions out of which 50% is through chemical process and 50% is through the burning of fuel. For every 1000 kg of cement produced, nearly 900 kg of CO2 are released into the atmosphere. The high proportion of carbon dioxide produced in the chemical reaction leads to a decrease in the quantity of cement due to less conversion of cement from limestone. So to reduce the transport of heavier raw materials and to minimize the associated costs, it is more economical for cement plants to solve this issue. The second problem associated with the cement industry is the presence of heavy metals. The high temperature calcination process of limestone releases volatile heavy metals such as thallium, cadmium and mercury which are very toxic. The presence of heavy metals arises both from natural raw materials and from the use of recycled byproducts. The high pH prevailing in the cement pore water which is between 12.5 to 13.5 limits the mobility of many heavy metals by decreasing their solubility and increasing their sorption into the cement mineral phases. Nickel, zinc and lead are commonly found in cements in high concentrations. Let us now move on to the sugar industry. Sugar is consumed every day by all of us. It has a unique importance but its production damages the environment. It is estimated that about 145 million tons of sugar is produced in 121 countries across the earth per year. It affects the surrounding soil, water and air. It is responsible for loss in biodiversity due to destruction of habitat by heavy use of agricultural chemicals. The disaster of the Great Barrier Reef in Australia is an example of destruction caused by excessive sugar production. In this disaster, water around the reef suffered from large quantity of effluents, pesticides and sediments from sugar farms. Also, in Papua New Guinea, the fertility of soil decreased by 40% due to heavy cultivation of sugar cane for sugar production. Air pollution associated with sugar industry. Sugar mills use bagasses as a fuel in boilers. Fly ash is mainly the waste which causes air pollution, which includes unburned bagasse and carbon particles. Fly ash is very light in weight and contains a large percentage of fine particles. These particles settle on vegetation and damage them by clogging the pores. They also have physiological effects on animals and humans like irritation in the eye, nose, throat and lungs. Sugar industry also causes water and land pollution. In the production of sugar, large amounts of water are used for irrigation purposes which results in discharge of polluted wastewater. It is estimated that sugar mills generate 98 lakh tons of sugar and 0.16 to 0.76 meter cube of waste for every ton of cane crushed by them. Also about 45 lakh liters of wastewater is generated by sugar mills per year. This wastewater when discharged gets mixed with water resources. It decreases the level of dissolved oxygen in water bodies. It makes water unfit for fish and other aquatic life forms. Also when the wastewater is discharged on land it causes land pollution as the organic waste clogs the pores in the soil. There are also some ethical issues associated with this. It includes the strikes by farmers for demand of excess payment which results in higher prices of sugar in the market.
let us now have a look at the environmental issues associated with distilleries. The manufacturing and consumption of alcohol both have bad effects on human health as well as on the environment. The consumption of alcohol causes liver damage, slows down the central nervous system and affects cognitive thinking. It is estimated that production of alcohol releases about 3 million tons of toxic chemicals into air, water and land. Ethanol vapors are highly inflammable. They have a capacity to combust on exposure to air even without oxygen. The hazard arises from leakage in tanks and there is a danger of explosion if it flows into sewers or houses. There are many flammable materials that are used in distilleries. The grain section has a fire hazard due to generation of grain dust and other particles. Older distilleries were made up of wood, so they were more susceptible to catch fire. The spent wash generated from distillation process has a very high pollution potential. It not only has a high content of organic and inorganic pollutants, but also a dark brown color even after processing. Distilleries are also known to generate huge amounts of toxic gases. The conventional distilleries resulted in change in color and odor of the water in rivers. Let us now have a look at the prevention methods or the techniques which we can adopt to minimize pollution. The manufacturing of both cement and sugar is very important from economical point of view. Therefore, improved equipment and new techniques should be used in order to reduce the emission of dust and harmful gases. The new techniques can trap and separate exhaust gases coming out from the industries for further utilization. Environmental protection also includes the reintegration of quarries into the countryside after they have been closed down by returning them to nature or recultivating them. Manufacturing of green cement. Green cement has a higher functional capacity and also its manufacturing releases less amount, less or negligible amounts of carbon dioxide. Therefore, it is considered to be eco-friendly. The increasing cost of fuels and environmental issues result in decreased production of cement in many countries. Coal and petroleum, the primary fuels used in cement manufacturing can be replaced by other fuels as they are non-renewable sources of energy. The waste and byproducts which contain useful minerals such as calcium, silica, aluminium and iron can be used as raw materials instead of clay and limestone. The cement industry in India is focusing on cost control, upgradation of continuous technology and increased construction activities. India's cement industry needs to nearly double its manufacturing capacity by 2025. In addition, major cement manufacturers in India are also increasingly using alternate fuels, especially bioenergy like solar, wind, thermal, etc. With the ever increasing industrial activity, real estate, construction and infrastructure development across the country, there is a growing demand for cement. Let us now have a look at the improvements that can be made in the sugar industry. Bagasse is used as a fuel in furnaces. These furnaces should be upgraded in order to control air pollution. A number of sugar mills have already installed wastewater treatment plants and air pollution control equipment. Cooling water should be recycled instead of released as wastewater. 
Recycling of condensates and cooling water helps in minimizing the amount of wastewater and it also helps in conservation of water. Preventive measures that can be taken in a distillery As consumption and manufacturing of alcohol both cause problems, therefore there should be increased awareness in people to avoid the consumption of alcohol. It should be only for medicinal purposes or as food preservative. This helps in manufacturing alcohol in limited quantities so that it does not cause any problem to the environment. Let us have a look at India's prospects. India is one of the leading countries in production of cement and sugar. Due to the environmental issues involved in production, Indian government has taken steps to improve the manufacturing techniques. The future plans made by government can remove these problems and also enhance the economy of the country. future prospects of India in the cement industry. Indian government is focusing on further improving the infrastructure activities to boost economic growth. Infrastructure potential of India is huge and they are expected to become the world's third largest construction market by 2025. Increase in infrastructure activities results in expansion of cement industries as per the growing cement demand. Some of the major investments and developments in Indian cement industry are Ambuja Cement Company plans to invest Rs. 802 crores in a number of projects. Prism Cement Limited has become the first Indian company to get the Quality Council of India QCI certification for its ready mix concrete plant in Kochi, Kerala. The company received the certification from Institute for Certification and Quality Mark ICQM. ACC also plans to spread its cement plants in Karnataka, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra with an investment of about Rs. 360 crores. It also plans to invest some 3000 crore rupees in an expansion project at its Jamul plant in Chhattisgarh and grinding unit in Jharkhand. Indian prospects of the sugar industry. Sugar, which is made from sugar cane, was discovered thousands of years ago in New Guinea. It was in India, sugar crystals were first produced by boiling the juice obtained by pressing sugar cane. There are 453 sugar mills in India, the maximum sugar producing industry in any nation. The cultivation of sugar cane generally takes place in the states of Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh alone accounts for 24% of the total sugar produced in the nation. Indian prospects of the distilleries. India is the fourth largest producer of ethanol in the world and the second largest in Asia. India produces about 2.75 million liters of alcohol per year. Though the production of alcohol from starchy material is also practiced in India but on a very limited scale. Most of the Indian distilleries use sugarcane molasses as the raw material. The first distillery in the country was set up at Kanpur, earlier Crownpur, in 1805 by Carew and Company Limited for manufacturing of rum for the army. The technique of fermentation, distillation and blending of alcoholic beverages was developed in India. The distillery industry today consists of two parts portable liquor and industrial alcohol. The alcohol industry is showing a declining trend because of high prices of molasses which is used as a substrate 
for production of alcohol. To sum up, cement is basically used for construction purposes. It is a binder. It binds a substance that sets and hardens as the cement dries. Sugar is manufactured from sugar cane and is used as a food additive. A distillery is the industrial production of alcohol by the process of distillation. Cement production affects the environment by emission of harmful gases and toxic materials including heavy metals. Production of sugar cane causes pollution in air, water and land. The manufacturing and consumption of alcohol both have bad impacts on human health as well as on the environment. India has great contribution in the overall production of cement, sugar and alcohol. It is the second largest cultivator of sugar cane for manufacturing of sugar.